Hello, the internet. Adam Steiner at the helm here in Sprawl and Brawl. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Now, this time, I, being the host, have Matt, Wild Matt. How you doing? Well, hey, hey, how's it going? Not too bad. I'm in, I'm in, I'm actually in Ottawa, so that's why it's all weird and like uh, lights behind me. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I like the uh, little string thing you got going across your face. It's mm -hmm. sexy. Mm -hmm. It's so you can hear me clearer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, there is a uh, free event of UFC on Fox and FX. Yes. Yes. Did you watch any of the Facebook ones? I did see them because they replayed them. Oh, both of them? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, the one was incredibly short, so that would be the uh, two black guys. I have no idea what their names are. These guys. Yeah, here. yeah. Oh, was it? Um, it's Starks the... and Romero. Romero. Okay. Yeah. Romero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Romero knocked him the fuck out mm -hmm, with a mm -hmm. giant knee, and then just swarmed him. <laughs> it was crazy. That knee yeah. was insane. That that was a really beautiful flying knee. Um, it yeah. Was... Early early fight. Yeah. That that yeah. was holy fuck. That was fast. Yeah. Um, and then the. Bulls and the I have no idea how the fuck to pronounce that. Ng Kawani. Ng yeah. Kawani. Yeah. Um, didn't really watch that too much. It seemed kind of boring, so I kind of fast forwarded through it. Uh, it, it was all right. I thought it was okay. Yeah. The first round was a lot of back and forth, but mostly Ng Kawani won that entire fight. So yeah. Okay. It was okay. Um, next fight was actually a pretty good one. The first one on FX. It was uh. Dalso and Big Aya, some the guy from, well, he was one of the guys from the Brazilian Tough. Wait, which one was first? The TJ. Oh, TJ Dillashaw and TJ Vieira. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and yeah. Hugo, um, TJ knocked him pretty much the fuck out. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm um, it was pretty. Quick fight. It was the second round. The first round was actually pretty good. No, this one was only one round. It, oh, right. Sorry, it was only like 50 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. No, TJ Dillashaw basically just. Yeah. Not not destroyed, but he exactly. took control at the end of that first round and he t he TKO'd him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I I thought Dillashaw's all right. I like him. In yeah. terms of Ultimate Fighter guys, he's all right. Now the next fight is Means versus Massive Jorge Masvidal. Massive Um yeah. kind of drawing a blank on this. You know why? Because it wasn't a TKO. Like this, this event was set first, tied for first place. In, yeah. And yeah, KOs. A lot of KOs tonight. Ridiculous free event. Yeah, there was uh, eight or nine of them. It was. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. yeah. Eight. Talk about TKOs. Hey, the next fight. Yeah. Joseph Bonavides and Darren Uyama, something like that. Yeah. Right. Like I really don't know what Uyama was trying to. He's a grappler. He's a jujitsu guy. But yet, as Joe was repeatedly say, like just completely nailed it. Interesting. Um, Matt just went bye bye. Sorry, somebody called me. Very nice. Um, can you still hear me? Oh yeah, I can. God damn it. Um, as I was saying, like, whoa. This is why you don't typically try and use cell phones when you're doing this type of shit. Sorry about that. No, no I'm just waiting for video. There we go. Be, yeah. Yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Because... Yeah, so Joe yeah. was um, kept saying during the fight that um, why is he go using an open guard because he wants to hold him down, which mm -hmm. then yeah. Joseph just fucking kept getting up, and then when they got up, he just beat the fuck out of him. Yeah. Uh, the end came really l late into the second day. It was just yeah. like a kick. And, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. It was uh, a good fight, good fight. Yeah. 
Actually, a lot of the fights of uh, the entire night were pretty good. Yeah. Typically, yeah, not too many events that I can think of actually had that many good, well-matched fights. Mm -hmm. um, which, this fight seemed well-matched on paper, but um, it was Ramasaw versus... Miles, 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 Miles Drury, Miles. And Ramsey Nijem. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Ramsey Nijem got I knocked expected. the fuck out hard. Yeah, Drury's, Drury's all right. Like, like, holy shit! Yeah, it was a crazy fight that one. Um, I'm just trying. Like, there was so like six hours, six and a half hours of fights. I'm just trying to remember what the fuck happened in some mm -hmm. of these, but yeah, that was pretty quick fight yeah. it seemed to be like it was the first round or the majority of the first round was all like ground um they kept going back and forth kind of going from top to bottom top to bottom yeah that, that's that's why this fight was so awesome because when they went on the ground it was always like them struggling for top position yeah to get and it was always shit. really close one of them kind of mm -hmm. just barely edged it out and then got top position nothing really happened because then the other guy kind of rolled back over and reversed it and it, the groundwork was really good on both sides yeah. but once yeah. they stood up it was pretty one-sided mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's how it did in the second round it was just like a lot of punches yeah. yeah um yeah and then one of the more boring fights of the night well okay well it, it might have been boring but and the decision between francis carmont and lorenz larkin was kind of crappy yeah i would call bullshit on that <laughs> yeah. it was definitely yeah. at best 29 28 for um larkin larkin oh i know um I at know. best that, that that is so like i would i would have scored it 30 27 myself because yeah, nothing yeah. happened yeah. when he finally did get him down and to talk about like only... larkin's uh takedown defense Holy oh, yeah. fuck! Yeah. It was ridiculous. He was like, like, how the hell? Bench. Like, his. He was kicking himself in the head at one point in time, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. still not. And still able to stand on the one leg. Like, I. Like, holy shit. Like, I would think that's even more insane than what I've seen Penn do in the past. Mm -hmm. Mainly because mm -hmm. he's so much larger than Penn, but. Uh, he was, like, doing the splits. Yeah. Vertically. Up. Yeah. yeah. It, it was pretty <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. But yeah, that was complete bullshit call. There was no way in hell Carmont actually won that fight. Yeah. There's no I way in this. fucking hell. Yep, exactly. I agree. Um, so the next fight was Mendez versus Elkins. Yeah. Um, that went the way I expected it to. Yeah, Mendez. pretty much. I was expecting Elkins to do a little bit more, but dude... Mendez hits like a fucking tank for his yeah. fucking 45, yeah. man. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, I cannot, like, he's only 5'6", though, but fuck, I, he I hits like, hard. I like Mendez, but he's been put against easy opponents lately. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess this was his toughest one, but still. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, what is Elkins ranked in, his in the division? I don't know, lower than 10. Oh, it, he really? Yeah, yeah. Because they showed they showed the chart like during the oh the, yeah, he wasn't even on it. So yeah. But Elkins yeah. was on like a five or six fight win streak or something like that. So. Yeah, I, it was five. It was five, five. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm. It kind of makes sense that they, but like, Mendez is I would think like two or three. In the division. Mendes? Well, after, sorry, Mendez, you're talking about. Yeah, Mendez would oh, be. He's been one. He's been one for a while. Is he actually ranked first though? Yeah, yeah. He's number one contender in that division. Okay. Like even when he lost, he was still first. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that that was a pretty brutal knockout. Um. Next fight was ooh yeah Matt Brown. Versus Young Gun. 
Jordan May, like, holy fuck, that first round was insane. <laughs> yeah. They beat uh, the fuck out of each other for that first round. Um, not brown, not brown, oh no, I'm thinking about, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Think about the next fight. Okay, yeah. Matt yeah. Brown, like, got a huge, like, took a huge body shot mm. and just fucking dropped and then somehow managed to stay, move enough to then stay in the and, fight. And they were thinking, like, his ribs were broken or something. I wouldn't be surprised was, if they were. He dude, he done. dropped. Like, holy fuck. And that wasn't even to the liver, man. That was to the ribs. Like, that was, like, I guess, like, right there. Like, that. it wasn't down below for the liver shot. I think it's even on the, it was on the wrong side of the body for the liver shot. But holy fuck, he dropped. Um, but then second round, Brown just came out, like, fucking, like, a possessed man and just took it to him. Um, I do think um, he Jordan was hurt from the first round mm -hmm. so he mm -hmm. wasn't quite all there and then brown just fucking picked him apart picked it up and just fucking yeah. does like he's on a like he fought four times last year won four fights and then like this fight with like this kid he's only 23 but he like fuck he's good and fuck he's strong like like just brown like i don't like Holy shit, Brown's got to be up and going for a top I've never five really spot. I really Brown, but he's always put on good fights. Yeah. Really? Like, he's got to be going for a, next, a top five fighter in his next fight. I don't think, I don't know, like, top five's pretty tough. That'd be, like, Ellenberger, maybe? Because he maybe. lost his maybe. last fight. Maybe going against Ellenberger might make sense. Yeah. Um, which, dude, that would be, I would think, a really good fight, but I don't know if he would be able to beat Ellenberger. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. Yeah. So, was it a knockout or was it a TKO? It was a TKO. It was a TKO. To the body. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But he just yeah, fucking. Yeah, on the ground. He just like turtled. His face yeah, just imploded yeah. somehow. I'm yeah, not. Those, those elbows were, were kind of like to the back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those were. We went to the kidneys and whatever. But, mm -hmm. um, Jordan's face just exploded. I'm not exactly sure. If it was his nose, or if it was his lip, yeah, or I, I his fi yeah. like, I have like his. There was so much blood so fast, and he like, he just turtled after that. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the fight that I was thinking about for a second when we were talking about this fight. It's uh, Josh Thompson defeating Nate Diaz. Yeah. TKO, head kick and punches. Yeah. In the second round, um, like even in the first round, like. Uh, Nate got kicked in the face too. Yeah, and he just fucking ate it and kept going forward yeah. like. Yeah, and then he punched him where he was bruised, and then he started bleeding like a mofo. Yeah. Uh, um. It was a good fight. I like first round fight. was yeah pretty close. I don't know how I would have judged that. Like that head kick was definitely the biggest the shock value. Yeah. But he just seemed to eat it, and nothing happened. But yeah, the second yeah, round. Did, yeah. The second round, Josh just like started picking him apart. Like, even before that big head kick, he, he was still getting the better of him. It's a um, pretty good fight, yeah. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. sure. But, yeah, that was the first time Nate was finished yeah, in the UFC, yeah. man, to the point of how many people he's faced. So that, that The first time he was ever fucking finished, that's pretty impressive. Good people, too. I, I would almost put that, like, Josh would have to be next fight for the championship. Like, after that display... I don't see on how he wouldn't be at least number one contender. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he would get the next title shot because there, he might have been promised he's, to someone else. Close. But it, yeah. it's got to be, he's got to be with one, one fight. Though. Yes. Yeah. But, like, just how, like, Diaz just had the champion, like, and it went five rounds, and then he just fucking wrecked him. So it, it's mm -hmm. pretty impressive for his first UFC fight. Yeah. The next fight was ne probably. This has got to be the weakest fight of the night. Yeah. Cause I don't know what the fuck Mir was smoking. <laughs> Why the fuck he kept trying to clinch with him, but Mir's leg kicks to the body were fucking vicious. Mm -hmm. Like holy shit! Like I'm pretty sure he got some bruised ribs, if not broken or cracked or fractured. <laughs> holy fuck! Some of those and body in, kicks were crazy. And in the, in the first round, he was just like doing like some. Yeah, like, he was fucking like, spinning heels and, and fucking hoop yeah. kicks and all sorts of crazy <laughs> shit. 
But if he did not, like, he engaged in quite a few of those clinches, though. I have no idea why the fuck he would do that. Yeah. When he, he, he was, oh, easily, easily lost him the fight by doing that. Like, this, the first round, um, I don't think, well, the first round was fairly close because he kept. His stand-up, his stand-up fell apart, though, after the first. That's yeah. What well, because he got put into the clinch and was tired and, mm-hmm. but the second round, he had opportunities to stay out of the clinch, but he kept going to it. Yeah, and the third weird. round, he really started kicking, but then he then, I guess, was tired after a couple of kicks and then tried to clinch. Like, I, I don't know what the fuck Mir was smoking to why he did that. The second round was terrible. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, that, I, I just don't know why. I Mentally, I just don't know where the fuck Mir was. If it was just exhaustion, or if he actually thought he could do something, or what the fuck ever but that definitely lost him the fight but was this event scheduled for two or three hours three three okay okay because my guide said 10 it was ending at 10 yes but it, yeah it went over because the last one was mm-hmm. well th- this one was full three rounds and then the next one yeah. was a full five so yeah. um and then yeah so the championship bout for the light weight light weight title for the UFC with Benson Henderson versus Gilbert Melendez. Mm -hmm. Um, Interesting fight. Um, The first round, like I don't, people were booing at the end for the decision. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really know how the fuck it was a split decision. Like I scored it. I I gave it 48-7 to Henderson. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, like, I, it was three to two rounds, easily. Like, two, uh, round two, three, and four were easily Henderson's, and then round one... Melendez was Melend- It was probably Melendez, and then the round... The four, the fifth round was pretty fucking close and could have went either way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Um, but the first two rounds, then, Melendez just surprised the hell out of me. I was like, dude, what? He's gonna do it. No, the second round, Henderson beat the fuck out of him for half uh, of it. It was, it was kind of close. No, uh, dude, he was throwing those elbows and fucking, like... Yeah, yeah. St- like, started them a couple of times with those elbows, man. And they were, like, that was... Like, some... Like, those elbows were to the temple, which I like elbows to the temple, because... Melendez didn't look that outclassed. No, 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 he certainly good. didn't. Like, it was... It was crazy. There was a couple of punches <laughs> that Henderson actually looked kind of wobbly and everything. Like, mm-hmm. these fuckers with the long hair really annoy the hell out of me. Because if I was fighting Henderson, every like every time like he goes in for a combination and they come back, cause, and then come, dude, I would butt rush the fucker every time he went like this, so he would never go like this. Like I just don't know why, like just fucking fix my hair. It's not on my face anymore. Okay, yeah, let's go. I would just butt rush him every time he fucking finished his combination because I knew he was gonna go fix his hair. Or I would grab his hair. That's not allowed. Is it not? It's oh. not. A- it's, it's not pride. NFL, it's not you. pride. This is the UFC. You can grab hair in NFL. Don't know if you know this. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you could totally grab people's yeah. hair. Yeah, because, like, yeah. fucking Clay Guida annoys the fucking hell out of me, too, <laughs> with that hair. Just, like... Yeah, it is annoying. It's, it's annoying. I do kind of understand their <laughs> somewhat logic to it of, like, that, like, if you're doing ground and pound, it really kind of fucks up your opponent, but... If you do fight someone that's super aggressive, I can see him just picking that out and just, like, every time he, you put your hands up like that is just you butt rush the fucking body or go for a takedown or something because that's Cause seriously, it. it's got to take about half a second, so it's slowing your response by about a half a second by doing that. Uh, I just don't know why the fuck you have hair coming down to halfway down your ass. Like, I just don't understand talk, it. Talk, talk about hair... Melendez had no facial hair. No, yeah, I, I never really watched Strike Force, but oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just every image I've ever seen of him, he does have the goatee thing going. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Yeah. it did seem a little weird. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm excited to see Melendez's next fight. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 after what he did to Henderson, man, it's I don't know. It could be interesting yeah. who fights next. Um. Yeah, I'd have to look at the top 10 of the lightweights. I don't recall. Okay, this was close to the top. I'm pretty down. sure he's going down weight class. Yeah, he, did, he is. He's yeah. facing Aldo next. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
so let's go lightweight. Um, interesting. Uh, okay, how the fuck do you get to the top ten shit here? <laughs> no. You know what I'll do? What 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 weight class are you looking for? Lightweight. That is, I'm looking for the top ten. Like, this used to be so simple, it used to be just right on the front page, and now it's not. Um, what the hell? What the hell's going on? I wish I was not here, because the internet would be faster. Let's yeah. See. Let's see. How do I solve on Skype, by the way? Is it all good? Yeah, it's not too bad. To the point you're on over a phone, it's fairly yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have really... Probably shouldn't really be. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure where the fuck. Oh, rankings. Duh, there's a big fucking button called <laughs> rankings. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I just typed in. Yeah. And I'm going to find it, I bet. Okay, so yeah, lightweight. So Melendez was, and then Anthony Pettis was ranked two, but he's then going down to face Aldo. So the Mainers three, Diaz was four, but he just lost, so then that. Jim Miller is five. Okay, fuck that shit. Um, what? Jim Miller's all right. Number five, really? Yeah. Um, Who do they have a six? Uh, is it not there? Uh, yeah, no, it's um Donald Cerrone. Uh, mm, you see? That would be a good fight right there. For whom? Cerrone and um, Miller, right? That's what you said. Yeah, was yeah, they're yeah. five and six respectively. Um, and then you got. I don't know. This actually isn't looking all that. <laughs> like it's not like it used to be. Like you, you had. I know Pettis is gone now too. So. Like Mayner, I haven't seen Mayner. I haven't seen Mayner fight in a while. Mm-hmm. Well. He, he fought, does did, have a. Did he fight one, once after? One, Edgar? he's fighting in, at one sixty. His last fight was Clay Guida at FX four, oh, yeah. in yeah. fucking June of last year. So mm -hmm. it'll be a year almost between fights. So he must have gotten hurt or something. I don't know. But um, uh, how about we wrap this up? Sure. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, am I doing it? Am I doing it? Go for it. Oh, okay. Well, hey, thanks for watching Sprawl and Brawl number, I believe, is this 18 or 19? I don't have a number, so I just have Sprawl oh, and Brawl. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm I pretty failed. sure it's 18. I I'm pretty sure it's 18. Don't worry about it. And uh, it was on, on 420. Guess what? Oh, it's Suma's birthday. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Hitler's birthday. Hitler's, Hitler's birthday. birthday. Yeah. Uh, That's what people like to call it. Yeah. Who the you fuck know, is Robert uh, Suma? We'll be back next week. We got a huge pay per view to talk about next week. So, uh, oh, Jones, yes. Sonnen, it's yes. crazy. Yes. <laughs> well, bye, everybody. Keep throwing those elbows, boys and girls. Just a fuck. Just, bye. See ya.